Raf Simons gave one single clue about the inspiration for his Fall Winter 22 collection. A detail from a painting by Flemish painter Peter Bruegel the Elder, depicting a woman covering a man in a blue cloak. The opening look of Simons' show features a modern interpretation of this type of outer wear, a cloak hanging from a structured cap. The two characters are part of a magnificent artwork painted by Bruegel in 1559 called Flemish Proverbs. It depicts over a hundred proverbs about the flaws of humanity in a witty and humorous way, and the man cloaked by his wife represents a person that has been cheated on. The reference, however, is probably more about the garment than the meaning of the proverb. It seems like a starting point for Simons to make a study about the fashion from the late Middle Ages and early Renaissance in what is now Belgium, his home country, an era in which these territories were dictating European fashion. Contrary to recent seasons where he explored a more oversized look, this collection features slim silhouettes, reminiscent of slender and elegant Gothic fashion, as in Simons' earlier work in the late 1990s. There's the occasional medieval undershirt and dress, and series of Gothic hats and coats, with an excitingly vibrant color palette, like that in the paintings of Flemish masters such as Ruhir van der Weyden and Jan van Eyck. This slim silhouette creates a sensual look that fetishizes the body. The fabrics he uses to cover this body enhance this even further, from latex bodysuits to leather coats and fluffy jackets. The mix of these fabrics with high tactility are visually titillating. This fascination for the human body and its sensuality is something that Simons explored in the previous season in the collection that he designed for Prada. He even reuses some of the formal types from that collection into this one, such as apron-like dresses that reveal some skin on the back, and long satin sashes on skirts that were a reminder of trains on couture gowns. The aprons are now knitted, and they feature tombeau prints of garments, and the arms of the wearer. The satin sashes are now attached to backpacks which, if worn on the back, create the illusion of the back of an intricately constructed Balenciaga cape from the late 1960s. The sensual silhouettes are paired with jewelry in the form of human skeletons. This perverse combination of sexuality and death is typical for the punk and goth subcultures, which have inspired Simons before. It gives the collection a surrealist dimension. It's an immediate reminder that youth and beauty fades, and that everything has come to an end. And fashion is of course the most evident example, as it kills and reinvents itself every six months. The skeletons are also telling us that in death we all look alike, male or female. Simons has recently introduced women's wear into his collections, but most types of garments are worn by both male and female models. He's not trying to create genderless or gender neutral clothing, like so many other designers painstakingly do. He simply designs garments for people, and in doing so, he showcases the absurdity of gendered fashion. It is an absolutely stunning collection that excites both the eyes and the mind, and that simply consists of beautiful garments. A real masterpiece by another great Flemish master.